Hello and welcome to Glassnode Academy. Today we're looking at the Bitcoin metric coin days destroyed and then a derivative of that called binary coin days destroyed. So what we'll look at today is the concept of coin days and the concept of coin days destroyed. We'll look at which segment of the market this is providing us insight into and we'll look at how we can actually apply coin days destroyed and binary coin days destroyed as part of our market analysis. So the concept of a coin day is a a volume of BTC that's essentially been dormant or it hasn't moved in a period of time. So in this case, we've got Alice with two BTC. She withdrew them from an exchange, for example, 100 days ago. That has now accumulated 200 Bitcoin coin days. When she goes to spend that, those 200 coin days will be reset to zero. Those 200 days are destroyed. And then those two BTC start reaccumulating new days. Um, similarly, Bob has half a Bitcoin. That's at 60 days age. So you've now got 30 coin days. And Carol's got 10 BTC at five days, which gives us 50 coin days. And if all of these outputs happen to be spent on the same day, we would sum them up and we would say that 280 coin days have been destroyed on that particular day. So coin days destroyed is very much a, it's a multiplication of time. As an input, we're looking at the lifespan of those UTXOs that were spent on that particular day. And we're multiplying it by how much volume was actually spent. So we're getting a view on both the amount of coins that were moved as well as how old they are. So what this is tracking in general is when are we seeing older coins coming back to life? When are older dormant maybe coins that were purchased in the last market um, coming back onto the market and becoming reactivated? And a higher coin days destroyed level will essentially say that more of those either higher volume or older coins or a combination of both are currently on the move. So a high value is old coins moving and low values tend to be day-to-day -day traffic. Now, what binary coin days destroyed is, is it looks at the average coin days destroyed over Bitcoin's lifespan. It looks at what is, it, what is an average value, what, what is considered normal in this instance. And it get, re return a one or a zero, literally a binary number, whether the current day is more or less than that average. So it's giving us a bit of an idea compared to the historical performance, what is typical in the market. Are we greater than average, which will return a value of one or less than average, which will return a value of zero? So now let's jump into Glassnode Studio and we'll have a look at how we apply these in our market analysis. So here we are in Glassnode Studio looking at the coin days destroyed metric. We've applied a 30 day moving average to try and smooth out some of the noise and get a bit more signal. And what we can see is we've almost got two different characters. We've got this um, general trend line to the upside, which makes sense because the older Bitcoin is around, the more coin days, the more time can actually be baked into these uh, UTXOs. And we also see these periods of high volatility and spikes. And you can see that these generally occur around periods of volatility. And then particularly during bull markets, we get these strong uptrends. So what this is signifying is that older coins are coming back into the circulation. They could be coins that were purchased back at an earlier level. And in many instances, what this is really tracking is what is the smart money doing? Are they selling into strength? Or during a bear market, is it telling us that there's a bit of panic selling going on or is there coins being re-released into the market? So it gives us a bit of an idea about what the uh, both the volume and the time-based elements of, uh, of those coins are. If we look at binary coin days destroyed, this barcode down the bottom here is essentially signaling either a one, which is a colored bar, or a zero, which is a no colored bar. And that's essentially telling us, is it more or less than average during those particular periods of time? And you can see that particularly during bullish markets, we get a lot of days where it's above average, meaning more coins are coming into circulation or older coins are being spent. And during bearish markets, we tend to get this more barcode type behavior where there's more days where it's actually below average and there's less activity going on on chain. And a useful trick when using the binary coin days destroyed is similarly to apply some kind of moving average and you can get a little bit of a view on the trend. So when it's hitting up to one, it means that there's 30 days of consistent old coins coming back into circulation. We're consistently above uh, the, the average coin days destroyed. And you can start to see when it's beginning to trend and move from this uh, particular baseline. So providing a moving average just gives you that extra bit of signal as to what the trend is when it comes to being above or below average in coin days destroyed. 